I am painting this mirror to match the mantle. Right now it's kind of like a stark, colder white and I want it to be a warm white that just kind of ties in with the trim and everything in this room. This mirror was actually on our vanity in our apartment that we lived in. This is aged white from Sherwin-Williams. The next room, I'm going to take a little bit of a break from the bedroom after I do this and we're going to choose a paint color for our living room. I just want it to feel more like us so um, I'm going to choose a paint color for the living room and so we'll kind of come back to the bedroom. There's still a lot of things I would like to do in this bedroom, like building something, some sort of like built-in corner bench situation. Um, maybe something that we can put our projector on. Um, Cause that's kind of, that was like my favorite part about our old bedroom. Oh, I ordered some Roman shades to go on the windows. Yeah, I'm sure like over time I'll find, I'll just like collect unique little things to add to it. But I think for now, like this canopy bed, adding the chandelier, um, the wallpaper made such a difference. So I love the direction it's headed. Uh, this week I'm actually headed to New York. Uh, my friend's having a baby shower and it will actually be the first weekend, actually the first night without Brooks ever. Um, so we're a little, nervous but he'll be staying with my family my parents you gonna ride the two yeah. right two why can you say two 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 how could the stars come to shine when it's dark from so far away show us where we are what makes the sun go to sleep Today is the day that we are going to start painting this room. I finally think I selected a color and it's very similar to our last living room, but it's a different color. So we eventually want to paint the trim too, but I have not picked a white for that yet. I'm not sure once it's, once it's painted, once the walls are painted, I think I'll know more about what color I want to go for all of that though. So for today, we are just working on painting the walls. And I think I'm going to paint the shelves. I see how it's like white and blue. I think, and I might regret this. I might change my mind. But with paint, you can change your mind. So I think I'm going to just paint the whole thing green. This is our light that we had in our dining area in our apartment. And I just thought it would be really, really nice in this room just to show you the color that i'm going with it is the one that i ripped off here that is the color that we are going to go with and i hope that it'll look really nice i need something a little more neutral but with a hint of color and i think i'm going to get that with this outrigger it was between outrigger and meander <laughs> like me a little bit scared of heights why does the rain always All right, keep on it pouring? is almost complete and i love it once it's dry at first i was like i don't know if i like this but it looks so pretty when it's dry i'm so excited and even the brick just like it just flows better with the brick it's very like earthy i'm taking a painting break tj's painting still but i'm taking a break right now i'm opening up a um, some spice jars that i found on ebay they are old lennox spice jars from 1992 and they're they're so beautiful here there's the ginger the lighting's kind of bad right now it's kind of backlit but let's see there you go. You can see they all have like their own little graphic. I can't wait. I'm going to open them all and then show you Please all of them. keep on pouring down when it's gray outside. It really makes me wonder. Yeah, it makes me wonder. It really makes me wonder. We 
we made it to New York. It is raining. It's raining. Um, I'm about to meet a cookie decorator. What would you call her? Cookie artist. She's art. She's very she's talented. An she's yeah. an artist, and I ordered some cookies from her to have at the baby shower tomorrow. So picked them up. All right, we made it to our hotel. This is the Wallace on the Upper West Side. TJ says this is as nice as the Plaza, <laughs> which honestly, I mean, it's pretty it's nice. It's styled differently, obviously, but it's very nice. So in here you have a bedroom. You also have the bathroom on this end. Oh, this is nice. I, I am excited that we decided to stay in the Upper West Side because it feels like home. It feels like home and uh, um, another gloomy day, but tomorrow the sun's supposed to come out. Apparently it's been gloomy for like eight days straight here. I really just want to send a picture of these to Anna, who's actually the shower, the baby shower is at her apartment tomorrow. So I wanted to see what these look like. Shout okay. out Sam. Sim, I'm gonna tag her account here. If you are in New York, I don't know if she ships like everywhere, but if you're in New York for sure, this, uh, she's so good with like creating cookies for any theme. I wanted like a wild flower theme for wheat. I wanted a wildflower cookie to go with the wildflower theme and little like baby girl clothes. Oh my God, that's so cute. Wow. Oh my gosh, that's cute too. A little blanket, bassinet, more wildflowers. Oh my gosh, you remember a baby wolf. That's Sim. so cute. Sim coming in hot. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. Okay, I'm gonna lay them out. I'm gonna send a picture to Baby in Blue. That's the whole theme, so. Very on theme, on brand. Sim does it again. And, okay, I just went to get something to eat really quickly. I actually am going to a dinner tonight with two girls from London who I've never met before. They work with a PR like travel company. So well, TJ just went to go pick up some old packages that were sent to our old building uh, and then returned some carpet samples as well that we will not be using, unfortunately. This is Cinderella. This little, if you're from New York, Cinderella is like really nice, really nice grocery store. They have like prepared foods. So I got a sandwich and a salad. Yeah, it's weird being back in New York. I know we've only, we moved like a month ago, but mentally I feel like I moved a lot longer because I was kind of over it. Being back, I was, I didn't know how I would feel if I would like feel sad or feel, be like, regretful like oh my gosh what do we just do I want to live here again but um I can definitely say like I feel like this season of life it the thought of coming back sounds um it would like it would be hard it's hard with once you have kids it, it can it just gets harder so I definitely don't I feel like we made the right decision for us everyone's decision or everyone's situations are different but I do feel some like reassurance coming back here like that we made a good decision um, at the right time. If there is all, there of course is a little bit of sadness. Like I love being able to walk literally everywhere, not everywhere, but the sub, we took the subway today and I miss the ease of getting places. Although there was a lot of traffic and I didn't miss that. Yes, there's pros and cons of course, but I would say, yeah, I definitely feel reassured that we made the best move at the right time for our situation. I'm gonna eat this and honestly, I might just sit on that little couch back there and relax and do nothing for one hour. I just got back from dinner and it was such a good dinner. It was so much fun. It was at Cafe Chelsea. So that is at Hotel Chelsea and the food was so good. So while I was gone, a friend of mine, a local friend who 
I've shared her art so many times before because she is just one of my favorites. She's so talented and she draws, um, I feel like she's most known for drawing animals or flowers. She, she lives around where this hotel is and she dropped off a package, a surprise package for me, which is just like so thoughtful. Kesia Finley is her name. Ugh, I just like, one thing that I loved, I just loved about our time in New York was there's a lot of very creative people that live here. A lot of people like my age. So it just, it felt like there's just endless people to get to know that you have a lot in common with. And Kesia was definitely one of them. And I wish like, I wish I could have even like just spent more time with her, but I feel that way about so many people. Like there's just so many people here. I do miss that about New York. I miss the um, community, but again, like we moved to New York and we didn't have a community at all. So it took, it takes time. It takes time no matter where you are to build a community and to meet people. And, but it was just really, it's just comforting coming back to like a place that you just know so many people, you know? But I did check up on Brooks just now and he is having such a good time at my parents' house. The videos they're sending are so funny. I think he's having a really good time. Hello. Remember that the city will always be here for you and it's part of your of you forever. Peace, yeah. So that one is a favorite. So is this. She draws these. I just can't. I, it's just crazy to me that she draws that. This hotel was kind of like not, it obviously New York hotels are very, very expensive no matter where you stay, but this one was um, kind of like in the mid range and I love it because it's in the Upper West Side. So it feels like we know the area really well. I think I'm gonna have to come here more often. I think I'm gonna have to come here like quite often, but it's pretty nice. And then tomorrow for the baby shower, I'm wearing a pink suit. Here's what I'm wearing. Pink suit with, I'm wearing socks. I'm gonna take my socks off, but it's just so cold. So I have this, this beautiful pink suit and I love the ruffle detail of this top. I'll link it if you're interested, but I love it. Go off to go celebrate a little baby girl. Yeah, I'm not like, okay, oh my God. thinking mirror in the middle, sconce of some sort, either candle, a candle holder or like an actual light sconce. And then obviously two of those. I also have this molding that I'm going to use for that. Are looking good. I'm so glad that I decided to put these in here. I feel like I'll definitely swap out those pillows because there's a lot of there's a lot of competing florals, but it's looking so good. We are almost done. We just have to add a little piece right there. Mm -hmm. 